Do you want to know what space economy is? Have you ever wondered how it began and what it portends for human society? Well, then this video is for you. Technology has created a new perspective on the way things are viewed and on the way reality is perceived. Before now, there was nothing like a space economy at all. All we had was the conventional means by which the economy is made robust. In this video, I'll be shedding more light on the new economic development known as the space economy. I'll show you how much of an impact the space economy is on the general economy of nations that venture into it. So, watch this video to the end because you'll be amazed at the potential space has and how much can be gleaned from it. But before we begin, Thank you for choosing to watch another one of our amazing videos. To enjoy more of these videos, subscribe to Economic Reasons and click the notifications bell to get a front row seat. But for now, let's begin. The world is changing, and with this influx of change comes new potential. Potential that's being considerably and adequately harnessed. Before now, space was a phenomenon that was studied and theories were formulated as to its components – chemical, physical, and biological – and not a means to an economical end. However, the reverse is currently the case, with the space industry becoming a fast cash cow for most businessmen. Space economy is the term used in describing revenues obtained from space technologies. It's the study of the economic bases collectible from the space industry. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, known as OECD, defined the space economy as the full range of activities and use of resources that create value and benefits for human beings in the course of exploring, researching, understanding, and utilizing space. This definition covers the evolution and growth of the space industry, vis-a-vis -vis its use and benefits for human society. The unrelenting probe by scientists into the components of space and the general use of the same brought about this recent development. The global space economy has an estimated value of around $450 billion. This includes a range of activities involved in the researching, exploring, and utilization of space. The space economy is made up of all the industries including rocket and satellite manufacturers, telecommunications, climate change researchers, data and finance experts, and defense, amongst others. These industries come together to create the trillion-dollar ecosystem that houses human life. The components of the space industry are responsible for the creation of the modern-day digital life we now currently enjoy. And by the end of the next decade, the space economy will conservatively be valued at more than $4 trillion. With the development of technology and the improvement of existing ways to understand space, the space economy experienced a paradigm shift that changed the sector and gave it commercial and economic value. Companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Starlink, as well as other top space and telecommunication companies have created an opening for the space industry. Hence, the space economy is growing and evolving. Together with the development and profound transformation of the space sector and the further integration of space into society and the economy. Furthermore, the deployed space infrastructure makes the development of new services possible. This invariably enables new applications in sectors such as meteorology, energy, telecommunications, insurance, transportation, maritime, aviation, and urban development. These developments become a veritable catalyst for growth in the economy and society. A lot of other sectors depend on the growth of the space sector. Hence, the space sector is not only a growth sector itself, but a vital enabler of growth in other sectors. With the massive development recorded in the space economy, economists and economic trend analysts have declared the space industry could become the next trillion-dollar industry by 2040. The satellite market makes up the largest portion of the space economy, at over 70%. According to famous space magazines, the satellite market is undergoing a paradigm shift in demand, while satellite income have dominantly come from services like television. The bank sees growth in applications ranging from consumer broadband to mobile connectivity to Internet of Things networks. The bank believes the expensive satellite networks of SpaceX's Starlink and Amazon's Project Kuiper will accelerate this shift through greater accessibility to Internet services across the globe. Another area that will provide massive gains is satellite imagery. Firms involved in this sector make an estimate of around 2% or $2.6 billion of the current space economy. The bank forecasts explosive growth in the sector driven by space as a service applications reaching $17 billion in annual sales by around 2040. 
There are a whole lot of tangible impacts on the growth of the space industry, leading to the growth of the space economy. Investors, realizing the massive potential of this sphere of interest, have started investing money into established and startup space companies. To ensure that they don't only get a reasonable ROI, they also enable the growth of one of the potentially largest industries in the world. Therefore, one of the most tangible impacts on the space economy is public interest and investment in space activities worldwide. Wide. Companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin have got major investments both from NASA and other interested companies and also from individual investors as well. These investments and continued interest have created more avenues for groundbreaking innovations in the space industry. Also, because of the higher attractiveness and expected profitability of the space industry, certain private fronts have begun to invest in established space companies. This is also connected to the growing venture capital market. Another very undeniable impact of the space economy is the increasing number of companies. Before now, the world only knew NASA and other country-based space fixtures. But in recent times, we have a good number of private-owned space actors. The proliferation of private space companies created awareness by the general public of the potential inherent value of this sector. Although this is still in the embryo, the revenue given to space industries is another impact on the growth of the space economy. Remember, the space economy deals with the value that the space industry can render per time to society, and the amount that can be obtained from the value rendered. Hence, the space revenue is more like incentives given to space companies to enable rapid creation of factors that would enable the growth of the space economy, including commercial base factors. What seemed like a smokescreen has grown into a multi-billion dollar industry, with milestone achievements and a corresponding growth in our understanding of the cosmos. The further integration of space into our society and our economy will lead to more creation of value and more socioeconomic benefits. This is simply Simply another impact of the space economy. Without the provision of value, there can be no growth. Hence, the major impact on the space economy is its continued provision of value from different angles and in different ramifications. The creation of value from space is in itself a catalyst to enable certain aspects of society to grow. One of the most important parts of the growth currently taking over the space industry is the economic benefits. The space economy is not independent of society. It is a diversified angle from which revenue is created to boost the economy and the standard of living of people. Another importance is the employment it creates. The space industry has created jobs for people from different walks of life. This is another value it generates for a society that creates interest from both private and public investors. There's also technological and scientific excellence as the importance of the growth of the space economy. The whole idea of space exploration is tied directly to technological development. Hence, with the new wave of investment and interests, there's bound to be excellence generated in this sector. Improving the space economy won't be easy. There are vast parameters that have to be considered. Some of these conditions or parameters are the harsh environment of space, the steep upfront capital costs, and the long timeline to see returns on space projects. All of these conditions represent crucial growth risks. Analysts have now seen the perception of space as a mere sport for billionaires. This also poses another great risk, as the industry needs to gain public acceptance before it can be adopted across various industries. While investment from private firms has driven down the cost of access to space, with more people and spacecraft flying for a fraction of what governments have been able to accomplish, the perception that space companies are ego-driven pet projects of the most wealthy individuals can damage the industry's potential. The firm said. As for human spaceflight, the failure rate for crewed launches is less than 2% historically, but that's still far too high for space passenger flights. Given that commercial aviation experiences failures at the miniature rate of about 0.0001%, regulatory risk represents another impediment to the space industry. There are several federal and international entities responsible for approving and regulating space companies. Then, there's space junk. Space junk represents a rapidly growing threat to satellites in orbit, future launches, and the expansion of opportunities across the space ecosystem. Millions of artificial objects are tracked in orbit around the Earth, with many times expected to be in orbit but are too small to be tracked. 
Commenting on space junk, space industries, and the space economy, Citi, a multinational investment bank, posits that the persistent presence of space junk increases the risk of the Kessler syndrome becoming a reality. The idea that space junk in orbit around the Earth, with no air resistance to slow it down, will reach a saturation point where it simply collides with other space junk and fragments into smaller pieces until it eventually creates a debris field that stops any new satellites from being launched. In all, the space economy has experienced rapid and laudable growth taking on a more feasible and tangible change from a mere theoretical standpoint to a potential mainstay of certain economies in the world. That's all we have for you in today's video, though. Do let us know what you think about the space economy and its impact on the general economy in the comments section down below. You can watch our previous videos by clicking on the link in the description box down below as well. Finally, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Economic Reasons for more amazing content. We'll see you in the next video.